Hello everybody. Today is June 26, 2019. 4.30 p.m. 88 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 30 degrees Celsius for all you uh, non-United States folk. I got off a R train at the 46th Street Station and today I'll be doing a walking uh, walking video on Broadway through the entirety of Astoria. This is a Queensbound train going to 71st Avenue in Forest Hills. But I'll be exiting at the 48th Street exit. Looks like there's a Manhattan bound R train on the other side. To open those subway gates, there's a neat little trick you can do. You have to press down on the bar for three seconds and hold it, otherwise the door won't open. I've seen people just keep pressing on it furiously and then the gate won't open. But this subway station has two exits, one on 48th Street, which is at the front of the train on the Queensbound side, and the other one at the rear is 46th Street. So, I'm on the street now. This is the corner of 48th Street and Broadway. And half a block to the east is Newtown Road, which marks the boundary of Astoria with the next neighborhood of Woodside. But this walk will only be focusing on Broadway and Astoria. I did do another video where I walked the entirety of Broadway in Queens from Socrates Culture Park in Astoria to Elmhurst. If you'd like to check that out, I'll leave a card in the upper right corner. Here's a Rite Aid pharmacy that's open 24 hours. It may be converted into a Walgreens soon because Walgreens bought out most of the Rite Aid stores, if I'm correct. This part of Broadway is one of the quieter parts. Once I get closer to Steinway Street, then it becomes more commercial. Here's a pet store, Vitality Health and Pets. I did read somewhere that a story has a large percentage of um, pets. And just a quick note, there was, an, there was a dog park that opened up at 23rd Street and Hoyt Avenue South, right near Astoria Park. So that's a good blessing for dog owners in the neighborhood. It is a little bit far from here, but at least it's something. Sometimes people think that they can just stand in the middle of the road and not get hit by buses, but that driver was aware of what was going on. This is the Salvation Army. Salvation Army is a very good organization. People donate a lot of uh, belongings to them and they serve food and help the uh, less fortunate. They're also famous during the holidays for having people dress up and ring um, holiday bells, most notably in Manhattan during the, um, like on Fifth Avenue and Rockefeller Center, you'll see them a lot. That's it.
Here is a uh, building, I guess, that's being, that's just about to open. Broadway has seen a lot of different changes throughout the years. Sometimes old buildings get demolished to make way for new ones. Here's a very good store, the Adriatic Meats. Saffron Indian Cuisine. You can see a lot of different stores here. Some of them are butchers, some of them are local restaurants. But you won't, too, you won't see too many chain stores on Broadway. Here's a dry cleaner and tailors, another pet store. Across the street is a Mexican restaurant, uh, more meat products, bagel store, cafe. Here's a martial arts school. This is the Steinway station for the U.S. Postal Service. Here's a city bike station at 43rd Street and Broadway, the city's bike share system. There are some things and some things I, there are some things I like and some things I don't like about the city bike system. I like that it's convenient, you're able to get a bicycle wherever there are stations, but that's also its biggest downside. Sometimes it can prove to be too popular and there won't be any bikes at the docks. And then when you want to drop your bike at a location, all the docks will be used up and you have nowhere to drop your bike off. So that's one reason why I didn't get a city bike membership. There's a doctor's office, a dental office across the street, tax service, Doyle's Corner Restaurant and Bar, an Irish bar and restaurant, as evidenced by the shamrock on the logo, and also Guinness. Guinness is most definitely Irish. Can this guy any more brazen North Star Auto Group yield to pedestrians, man? Tiscogna paints. It's one thing about New York, you have to always be aware of traffic and aggressive drivers, aggressive cyclists. Just one mistake or one bad move and that could be the end of your life or something and I don't want that to happen. Here's a retro pizza and cafe. It has some nice magazines, covers in front, and some posters. Now I'm only one block away from Steinway Street, as I mentioned before. This is where Broadway gets a lot more busy. There's a chicken restaurant across the street from me, a Hispanic and Latino chicken restaurant. This is the Astoria um, branch of the Queens Library, or I should say the Broadway branch of the Queens Library. 
New York City has three library systems. The New York Public Library, which has branches in Manhattan and the Bronx. Brooklyn Public Library, which serves Brooklyn. And Queens Public Library, which serves Queens. Oh, and I also forgot Staten Island. New York Public Li Library serves Staten Island as well. But this is Steinway Street. I also did a narrated video of Steinway Street. If you'd like to see that one, I'll leave a card in the upper right corner. But it's a very busy street, a lot of activity. Here's Chase at the corner of Steinway and Broadway. Very large bank in the New York City area. I've been in a story for a long time. That TD bank across the street from me used to be uh, the Wiz, which sold electronics. I remember when the DVD players first came out, it was very, very hot back then, and I got one there. This is Polito's Pizzeria. Very famous pizzeria in Astoria, I recommend it. Raven's Head Public House. Here's La Sabrosura Bakery. You see even these cars have to go around other vehicles blocked in the intersection because people don't know how to drive around here. There's Oliver's restaurant across the street. A locksmith who's been there for a very long time. K&T Meats, which has also been in the neighborhood for a long time. Boston Pizza and Restaurant. Buy Sushi. Santander Bank, or I guess I should say Santander. Sometimes they say Santander in their commercials. Used to be Sovereign Bank, but before they bought them out. Here's Rio Grande, Brazilian restaurant. The Chicken Shack, very good restaurant. There's D2, Deals and Discounts. I guess that's the new name for D&D. &D. It used to be called D&D &D a long time ago. Here's the Broadway Vacuum, a very specialized niche store, which you don't really see too many these days. But they've, been also be, they've also been there a long time. This here is a parking lot for the Most Precious Blood uh, Elementary School. It's a Catholic elementary school, which is located uh, just down the block from here on 36th Street. There's Makja, a Korean restaurant, an Italian deli, DNF Italian deli, Madame Marie's Bar, Pie Boat Noodle, which is a very uh, good Thai restaurant in the area. This here used to be a funeral home, but it too closed. It was a very uh, respected funeral home in the area, but I guess things have to change in the neighborhood. Astoria Meats, Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee Company. I love that place. It has great bagels. You can get any kind of cream cheese you want.
There's the high water across the street. You see, I do wonder if the... Wow, that is very close. Maybe I could review the footage to see what happened there, but that was... What's up? Yeah. Awesome. You're going to see yourself. <laughs> All right. It's act Action Kid. Yeah. All right. Here's high water. You see? Now I've got fans recognizing me. That's never really happened to me before. Bartolino's. Italian pizza and the restaurant is next door. Broadway drugs. This is Trestle. Sunrise Chinese food and law office over there, Papas and Papas. Emilio's Taverna, Michael's Restaurant, which has been there a long time. Tokyo Market, so there's a specialized convenience store in Astoria dealing with Japanese products. Here's 3308 Eats and Drinks. Doesn't have a name, but that's the name of the restaurant. Tierras Colombianas, Colombian restaurant. The Ammonia Cafe, another uh, well-known place in Astoria. This is 33rd Street. Many vehicles like to go on 33rd Street because it connects with the Grand Central Parkway at Astoria Boulevard. It's also a two lane wide street, not a one lane street. Ammonia Cafe with its nice bakery. There are extremely delicious pastries here. Their cakes are mouth watering, I'll tell you. There's Nuevo Garden de China. It's a Latin American uh, Chinese fusion restaurant. Very experimental stuff, but it's very good. This is Break Bar and Billiards. Very famous place to hang out in the city. I mean, in Astoria. They have deals there where if you just buy a drink, you can shoot free billiards and pool all night. Lokanta, Turkish traditional restaurant. Bahari, a Greek restaurant, which I highly recommend. It's Zagat rated. Champion Pizza with all their pictures of people on the walls. There's Club Fitness across the street along with Starbucks. Perfect combination. You finish using the gym or you go to the gym with a drink and then you go to Starbucks. McLaughlin's uh, Irish restaurant and bar. This is the newly renovated Broadway subway station at 31st Street.
I did a tour of the station when it first opened and compared it with the old station. You can check that out on my YouTube. Parisi Bakery is very famous around here. Their breads are just amazing. They're so crunchy and soft. There's the king of falafel and shawarma. It started here on Broadway as a food cart, but they grew so big that they were able to uh, buy a place, a storefront in Astoria. That's why the storefront looks like a food cart. They still do have food carts in Astoria. I know there's one on 30th Avenue, one on Dittmar's Boulevard. And maybe there's another one too in uh, Manhattan. I'm not really sure. Aliada Greek and Cypriot restaurant. It's a lot of traffic here. I don't want to cross with a car there, just blocking the intersection. Now it looks like it's clear. This building here used to be a one-story supermarket called Sea Town. Now it's, I believe, three or four floors. No, it's at least four. But this first level is supposed to be a food emporium supermarket soon. This is New York City Bagel and Coffee House. Oh, here's the signs for the Food Emporium. I don't know, maybe that first section I was showing you before won't be the Food Emporium. Only this side will. But I know the neighborhood desperately wants their supermarket back. Oteco NYC, one of the newer places in Astoria. Saks Pizzeria, what can I say about them? You won't see them here for much longer because their lease is expiring in August. So this may be one of the few opportunities to see this restaurant at this location if you're viewing this. Saks Pizzeria is family owned. It used to, uh, they used to have a restaurant on 30th Avenue called, no, it wasn't uh, on 30th Avenue, I believe. Maybe it was. But I'll have to ask someone. But yeah, Saks Pizzeria is going to be moving near the Kaufman Astoria Studios. I very much enjoy their pizza and their um, Italian dishes. The drunken chicken. The Strand Restaurant. That used to be Blockbuster back in the 90s. A very, very big Blockbuster. Actually, I think it even took up the Chinese kitchen, the express uh, cleaners, and the bakeway. But the Strand has been in the news for uh, some shady things with the health department going back and forth. They do have some cool uh, music going on there once in a while. Here is a 99 cents discount store. Not too many remaining in Astoria. There used to be a lot more. Here's a new restaurant that opened, the Bund. It's also affiliated with the Bund in Forest Hills. Here's New York Martial Arts Academy. They teach uh, Jeet Kune Do, which is Bruce Lee's philosophy on martial arts. Trade fair supermarkets across the street. Very important supermarket since that other one on um, 30, 
No, it's not 30 something. 29th Street closed. Very happy. This is a senior center, the Della Monica Senior Center. Past Crescent Street, Broadway becomes a lot more residential. So now you'll see more apartments and homes. Many of these buildings are new construction. You can tell just by the brickwork outside. Here's a auto repair mechanic, the Joy's Auto Repairs. This side of Broadway has several medical offices. Here's a uh, sports medicine and injections, a foot doctor. There's a lot of specialty, um, specialty professions and stores on Broadway. This big building in front of me on the next street, I actually don't remember what it used to be, but it's definitely new construction. It's amazing how much the neighborhood has changed. So here you can see some blue tape and some uh, paper while the building is being constructed. There's neurology, cosmetic dentistry. This is a uh, shopping center, the Broadway Shopping Center has a lot of long-running staples such as uh, Samaria Pizza there and that uh, supermarket which, is, which has always been a supermarket. Previously it used to be Associated but now it's a 24-hour city fresh market. That Verizon used to be a Radio Shack. This is the famous Bel Air Diner. It's been here for as long as I remember. Now this is 21st Street. 21st Street is one of the main streets in Astoria for motor vehicle traffic. The southern end of 21st Street leads you off at the Pulaski Bridge, which leads you into Brooklyn. There's two bus services which start, uh, serve 21st Street in this section, the Q69 and Q100. 
the Q100 being an express bus or a limited bus. This here is a senior residence, the Hannock Senior Residence. This is a community church, the Jesus Saves Community Church of Astoria. Now here's where a lot of the Astoria youth have gone to school, the Long Island City High School. It is a zone school, so many of the students uh, are automatically accepted into the school. The way I remember the zone schools working is, um, used to be that the zone school is impossible to uh, not go to because it's always going to be a choice for your public high school, but you can always apply to different high schools that you would like to attend. This building and across the street is very magnificent, high ceilings, balconies. I, didn't, I don't remember what that used to be, but it's amazing how much the neighborhood has changed. There's Super 8 Motel. If you're ever uh, visiting New York City on a budget, I'm sure that Super 8 Motel won't be as expensive as some places in like Midtown Manhattan for sure. Here's Long Island City High School's uh, sporting fields. The football, soccer. I think the baseball fields are further over there. This is Long Island City High School's parking lot.
Here's a big parking lot for New York City taxi cabs. I'm almost about to hit the end of Broadway at Vernon Boulevard. But I do want to show you the New York City Park, the Socrates Sculpture Park. It has a lot of different art from time to time. Rotating art created by very talented artists and sculptors. That family back there pushing the shopping carts most likely went to the Costco Wholesale to the left on Vernon Boulevard. Across the street is Socrates Sculpture Park. To the left is Costco Wholesale. And only one block down is the Noguchi Museum. I recommend attending the Noguchi Museum. There's a lot of different art there with some creative sculptures. This is one of the most unique parks in New York City, the Socrates Sculpture Park. Hey, look at that, selfie. Okay, everyone, my camera battery just died. No joke, it's not a conspiracy to hide myself, but this is me, Action Kid. I don't know why many of you want me to do a face reveal. I reveal myself in many of my videos. You might have caught my reflection or something through a store. But this is me. This is how I record with a gimbal on my chest. I don't have a camera on my head. <laughs> but let's see the rest of this park. So it looks like they have an Apollo 11 theme, a space theme at Socrates Park. They're looking through a telescope. Very interesting looking telescope. Maybe this is supposed to be a uh, planet with some rocks. Maybe those are asteroids. Very cool. This nature area is kind of cool. There's some hammocks here. Looks like these are water hoses maybe, or bicycle tubes. Some very unique chairs here. Looks like the ground is still wet even though it's almost 
90 degrees. I'm very surprised. Across the water is the Astoria houses, the Astoria public housing with the New York City ferry just about to depart. There's Manhattan with a New York City Department of Sanitation building. That lighthouse is part of Roosevelt Island. That sound means the ferry is ready to leave. This is kind of cool. It's very simple, but it's a very good way to do some artwork. Looks like stars. And with the sun, all the shade is on this side. All right, the way I want to do this is I'll come around to the this side of the park and then come back around. So I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Looks like a white arrow. It's solar powered, but it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. There's the ferry making its way to Roosevelt Island, the next stop. I don't know what this is supposed to be at all. Ooh, an interactive sculpture here. Smoothing and creepy at the same time. This is kind of cool. It's like a rainbow. Is this a pentagram? One, two, three, four. Six. No, hexagram, six sides. Oh, and there's some text here. And now it's unreadable because the sun's so bright. But interesting little exhibit there. Now the last one I want to check out is that one with the planters. This one looks like uh, it took a lot of effort to do. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to represent or what it's made out of.
All right. Well, that does it for this video, everyone. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell icon to get notifications when I post a new video. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.